Hi, I'm Ken Elkins, the Community Conservation Manager for Audubon, Connecticut. And I'm representing the Audubon Center Bent to the River in Southbury, Connecticut today. And we love to share with people uh, to help them learn more about birds and other animals with wings and how we can all be better stewards of the earth around us. So today, in particular, we're here to observe fall migration that many birds, uh, songbirds, migrated overnight last night. And now they're out here in the meadows around the sanctuary feeding on the insects and on some of the seeds from all these native plants that they've uh, planted here over the past couple of years. Hi, we're uh, Marsha and Sandy and we are local uh, citizen scientists, I guess you could call us, who raise monarch caterpillars and advocate for people planting the, in their gardens for monarch caterpillars and also other pollinators. And uh, we're here today to show the kids what monarch caterpillars, chrysalises, and butterflies look like. And I just want to add, the reason we do this is monarchs only have a 3-5% to 5 chance of survival in the wild. Hi, I'm Kathy Fiore and I'm from Magic Wings Butterfly Conservatory in South Deerfield, Massachusetts. We are honored and privileged to be a part of this event today. We have some beautiful monarchs in her memory and honor and we're going to let them live here when I'm done today. And like I said, the messier the better, because that's how you get all the tech. The tops of those flowers are made up of all these little kind of all around the edge of this circle. We're going to make kind of like... I'm Christine St. George, and this is Mary Wilson, president of Protect Our Pollinators. And we are mainly a new town based group, although we do have members from other surrounding towns who are interested in um, helping our pollinators thrive and recover their numbers.